Hello folks, right then, we're going to try the Ninja um, cooker today and I'm going to do some braising steaks with potatoes and some nice gravy. Now, I've never done this before in here, so it's going to be trial and error um, with timings, so it, it, it might have a laugh, it might turn out burnt, it might, oh, anyone's guess what could happen, it's just going to be fun to, to learn, so if you want to have a bit of a laugh, see how stupid I am, then this is the video for you, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll be back shortly. Okay folks, these are the ingredients we're going to be using. We've got some some salt, some pepper, a bit of goulash mix, that's from Germany. I uh, haven't got much of that left. Um, I have got this other variety, an, another type to try, but I uh, haven't yet done it. But this one's certainly been good, we've gone through a few pots of that. Now I've got my potatoes. Now I've noticed um, from a lot of the videos and I've watched on YouTube that those of you in the US and maybe over here, I don't know, but you uh, tend to not peel your potatoes. I suppose that's uh, for health reasons or is it just laziness? I, I don't know. But anyway, I like to peel them so they're going to get peeled at some point. Um, I've got some uh, braising steaks. I've got two actually, two here. Now, that's going to be for two days um, and it will, some of it will be for mum as well. She don't want it today but possibly tomorrow. So you'll, you'll just have to see how, how things progress. Now, just, I'm just going to take you around here and this is the machine we're going to be using today. I think we need the light on. So we've got the Ninja and uh, I've already put some fat, some lard, I know we're old fashioned, um, in here and the first thing I'm going to do is press the start button and then we're going to press the sear saute. It's on high, I'm going to leave it on that. And time wise, hang on a minute. Oh, there is no time on this one. <laughs> so we're just going to put it on start, start. You don't need to have any lids down. You don't need to have the grill lid or the pressure cook cooker lid, which I've got just here. You don't need those. You just put that on there. And uh, and that should heat up. And uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. So, folks, um, as I showed you, it's exactly right. Um, but if nothing happens, then just press the um, the start button again. And what you should be getting, you should either be seeing the lard melting like this is it's making a bit of a, a noise or if you're using vegetable oil or anything else then uh, it should be you should just hear it make a noise the machine then you know it's working okay folks just put the steaks in, you can hear them crackling, it's um, spitting the stuff out. We'll turn those over in a, in a bit. Okay folks, the uh, raising steaks are browned up nicely in a few minutes. And now I've got to prepare for the next stage. Okay folks, so the next stage is to get my gravy mix ready. 
Now what I've done here, I've mixed three tablespoons of this Fisto original gravy powder with three of, of the corn flour. And that's gone into this cup. Now I'm going to mix those together and then I'm going to add some cold water and give it a good stir. Then, what I'm going to do is add some boiling water into air to cover the steak with the gravy mix and then we're going to put it on, on the pressure cook for 45 minutes. Then we'll take a look and see how things are going. At that point I'm going to have some potatoes which I'm going to peel and dice um, and they'll be added and they'll just be in for another 10 minutes but then maybe, 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 maybe a bit longer, we'll see. We'll try with 10. So I'll be back shortly. <laughs> okay folks, I've been running into some technical difficulties. The kettle's not working properly and I have to keep fiddling around with it. I think I might have just found the right spot where it's, uh, the contacts are working okay, but it looks as though that needs to be replaced. I know it's a good few years old now, so I shouldn't complain. I'm just waiting for it to get hot up. It doesn't have to boil. In fact, I think that'll be about enough now. It's steaming. It's also leaks. Okay, so I've got the gravy mix ready, but I've decided I'm going to put that in when I put the potatoes in. Because then I can give it a good stir around. Uh, so, let's get the pressure cooker top on. I initially struggled with this, because I've got one, I, I tend to have a play around before I read the instructions. There is a mark on here which you have to line up with a mark on the bottom. You have to remember that the the vent and that goes on the other side. Thinking about it, it's logical but you know I didn't I hadn't got a clue how a, a pressure oven worked so there we are. Got the window just here which is handy so it can uh, um, any steam and that can go out there. I'd advise to make sure that the blinds or curtains and that are well away. Mine are right the way up there. I'm going to close that. I'm now going to press the on, on and off button. Down card, can you see? Just here, yeah. I'm going to choose pressure setting. I'm going to make sure the temperature is on high and then we're going to set it for um, 45 minutes so the settings in now you just have to um, press oh make sure you your little thing at the top here is on seal and not vent and then just press the start stop let me just take you closer so can you see how this is going around that means that it's preparing itself it, the pressure is building up that can take about anywhere between about three and seven minutes. And once that's finished doing that, it will then um, switch over to whatever time you set it for. In this case, 45 minutes, and it will count down. So, 
So, keep your fingers crossed that I haven't done anything wrong because I haven't really um, read any instructions. So let's just hope there's nothing major goes wrong here. And we'll be back in a bit. Okay folks, it's now started on its timer and it's counting backwards. So, so far so good. Initially you get a bit of steam coming out, out the top, but then it quickly, um, the red button there, that will that's down initially and that will go up. And when it's up you know that it's working. I've just been preparing the potatoes, I've, ju I've just started with three initially. I'm going to see how many pieces there is. And I use um, one of these chip um, cutters to uh, cut the pieces up. Um, I suppose actually I can show you so I, I kind of cut them up into um, small pieces like that Oh, I'm so rusty at recording folks and I have really apologised for that. Um, I used to be doing videos two or three every day when I was on the gardening but uh, obviously with being a full time carer now it's, uh, it's not something I can do. Anyway, we'll be back to see how that goes in a little while. So folks, we're uh, getting down to the end of the 45 minute um, in the pressure cooker side. It's the minute and 40 to go. So, fingers crossed, I've, uh, I've done this okay. Now what's going to happen, uh, when it reaches, when it finishes, the time's going to then start counting upwards. And that will give us an idea, um, well you're meant to leave, I th think, I really ought to read the instructions, um, leave it for a few minutes, then en then en uh, open the vent at the top here, not just there, put it onto the vent position, it's on the seal at the moment. Um, and what, once all the everything sorted what will happen is that red button sorry there is going to be going in while it's up you must never open the top so we're counting now we're down to 30 seconds and I'm getting very hungry Past my normal eating time, midday. So, I'm going to apologise to those of you who haven't watched any of my videos in the past, and there's a lot of, um, it's not very organised, it's because I'm learning. This is the first time I've used the pressure cooker properly. Uh, I've used it for some chicken legs which was a success but nothing else so this is the second time that it's been used is it second third time because I, I did some chicken breasts as well but I've never tried to do anything like braising steak and potatoes it's this is all literally trial and error I guess you could say I'm winging it <laughs> But I thought it would make an interesting video, so um, I guess I'll get a lot of negative remarks, but yeah. If you don't try, you don't learn. And the, the, the problem for me is that uh, I like plain cooking. I'm not for all adding um, peppers and chilies and all that, I don't like them. Having said that, I have to confess I made a mistake when I put this onto the um, 
until the pressure cooker is set in. I forgot to add my seasonings but there's no need to panic because I'm going to add those at the next stage which is when I add the potatoes and so and also when I add the gravy mix. Okay so it's been on now for an extra nearly two minutes. I'm going to release the vent. Now this, I've got to tell you, when I first did this it, did, it made both Lady, my doggy, who's just there, excuse the rubbish, that's the bin because we've got no space, it made her and me jump. So it probably made you jump. I'm using a knife because I don't like to get my hands too close to all this hot steam. So I'm just going to, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to, uh, um, no, yeah, do that. This can take five minutes. Oh, I can smell now, I can smell it. Oh. Just looking at that red button. Actually, that wasn't too bad with releasing the uh, the steam and that. It was a lot worse than I was doing the chicken. So oh, I just hope it's all it's all okay. Now you may be asking, why am I using this machine instead of the normal way what you've seen me do raising steak in the past? Well, simply the time. It can take three hours doing it on the, on the um, hob of the cooker, whereas this probably a little over an hour in all, with the waiting around in that. Plus, from what I've been watching on the, um, what other people have been um, recording, it's really, really tender. Anyway, I'm going to have a play around with all sorts of, set of settings and that over the coming months, so who knows, next one might be uh, using something different, we'll see. Okay, so the steam now has nearly dispersed. Oh, and the button's gone down. So now we're safe to undo the top. Okay. Gonna switch the machine off for the moment. So I've just switched it off at the button there, it's gone off. Okay. I'm now going to open this up. Oh, okay. Oh, just look at that. Oh my God, it's uh, it's tender, folks. This knife's blunt. Right. So, I'm gonna add the ingredient. I'm gonna add the seasoning. I'm gonna add the gravy mix, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've added the salt, the pepper and the goulash mix. Um, also added the, the gravy. Um, I haven't got the right equipment. 
uh, at the moment. So I'm making do. I don't really want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, cause any um, scratch marks and that. So I'm making do with what I found in the cupboard. I'm just giving it basically a stir just to uh, make sure the gravy mix is all gone in properly. And to be honest with you, it's looking really good. Now I'm going to add the potatoes. going to put the going to put the top back on now okay make sure the vent is on seal switch the machine back on Make sure you press the pressure and then we're going to do it for 10 minutes. Hopefully that will be enough. Because you've got to remember that there's going to be the time where it's going to warm up, the time where it's going to cool down. So you probably, although it's 10 minutes, you're probably more like 20 minutes in total. Which is which will should be plenty for for the potatoes to be done well, not hard. Okay, start. It goes through all the spinning around, and um, we'll see what it's like in a few minutes, folks. Okay folks, so the potatoes, um, I obviously added a little while ago, God, I'm stuck with my words today, I'm sorry folks, <laughs> I'm, I'm tired as well. Anyway, they've just finished, so it's on its, um, it's counting upwards at the moment, and um, I'm going to give it a minute or two, then I'm going to do the vent, I'm going to release that. And uh, we'll see what, what it all looks like, whether, <laughs> whether it's been a success or whether it's been a, a failure. If it's been a failure, you put, I don't know, you, you probably might not, have see, might not see this video. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it up for a laugh. We'll see. Okay. Lady, you get out of the way, it's going to be noisy, okay? It's going to make a, a noise, hissing. Oh, let's just um, tell you what I'll do. I'm going to switch the stop button, uh, the on-off button there. Lady's not very impressed. It's alright, baby. She will be when she gets to have some of this meat for dinner. So we're just ready, waiting for that uh, the valve, the red, red bit, to go down. Then we know it's safe to uh, open it. I can, I can tell you though, it is, smells so nice. I just opened it for you, lady. Come to go out. Make up your mind. Yeah, come on then. You can go outside.
she can't make up her mind because she knows the dinner's nearly ready and so uh, <laughs> she don't want to miss out I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this machine so far even though I've only just uh, tested the waters with it but uh, yeah I think it's going to be fun different things I want to try meat wise oh for anyone who's not watched my videos especially the cooking ones you've got to be aware that I don't uh, eat vegetables so meat and potatoes so unless I'm cooking and mum's going to have some which she does sometimes but sometimes like today she didn't want it um, she's got um, Alzheimer's and that so it's, it's very awkward um, I won't bother putting them in. But Paula, who some of you may know, has uh, said when, when she's over here and we've been, when we do some cooking and that, because she lives in California, then uh, I've got to eat a few veg, so life will change a little then. Probably this belly, which you can't see thankfully, will go down a bit because I've put on a lot of weight this month, this year. Well, a lot. Probably. A, Probably a stone or two, I think. I think it's nearly there. It's done it. It's done it. The red thing's gone off. Right. So, um, just have to make sure I've got some room to put the lid. That's the problem. Small kitchen, very limited with space. So you have to always think one step ahead. Got to have a look at this. What do you think, folks? What do you think? Look at that, it's so tender. Oh my god. Right, let's get some on the on the uh, on the plate and uh, then I can give it the test. Okay folks, just letting you know that uh, the meal, the braising steak what I've just done in the Ninja oven is absolutely, well it was superb, I've ate it all. Oh my god, it, it was the tastiest and tenderest I've ever had. So that's up to now, I mean, it's 10 out of 10 all the way, it's just fantastic. You know, this little machine here. I will put details of uh, the exact name of it and that um, in the uh, description. But very recommended so far. Just love it. Yeah. Okay, thanks.